In April 2021, the price of Bitcoin surged to a record high of more than $63,000. Just a couple of months before that, Elon Musk had announced Tesla's investment of $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Many other billionaires and major companies were contemplating the idea of holding some of their profits in Bitcoin, as the potential returns were astronomically high. In fact, many industry experts had predicted that the price of Bitcoin could easily reach more than half a million dollars. Fast forward to today, and we are seeing a massive cryptocurrency crash. The price of Bitcoin is nowhere close to the all-time high level of $63,000, and there is a lot of uncertainty in the market. So, what led to this crash? What made Elon Musk, who was once considered the hero of crypto community, a villain who contributed to the downfall of Bitcoin? What are the huge energy consumption problems with Bitcoin? What role has China played in the downfall of Bitcoin? And is there a silver lining for the Bitcoin community amongst all this chaos? Well, this is exactly what we will be looking at in this video. Now, before we get started, make sure to like the video to show your support. Also, do subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon as well, so that you can continue watching such informative tech-focused videos right here on TechCharge. Now, let's take a look at Bitcoin's energy consumption problems that have been in spotlight during the recent months, along with other issues with the cryptocurrency. The massive downhill trend in the prices of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies around the world have mostly been caused by two major factors. The first is the fundamental flaw in the way that Bitcoin works. That is the massive energy consumed by gigantic mining farms around the world. And the second is the crackdown of Chinese government on Bitcoin mining. Just a few months after Tesla made investment in Bitcoin, Elon Musk made a tweet that pretty much started the downward spiral in the Bitcoin price. In one of his tweets, he raised eyebrows on the environmental costs of Bitcoin. Elon wrote, Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels. We believe it has promising future. But this cannot come at great cost to the environment. This single tweet made Elon Musk a villain for the crypto community. But in all fairness, Elon did raise a very valid question. The issue of environment being affected by the massive energy consumption of Bitcoin mining farms around the world has been consistently raised by various activists and environmental groups for many years now. To really understand how Bitcoin affects the environment and at what scale it is affecting the environment, we will have to take a deeper look into how Bitcoin actually works. Bitcoin Protocol was designed in 2008, and the network was launched in 2009 by an unknown person who went by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. He was responsible for creating the majority of the official Bitcoin software and was active in making modifications and posting technical information on the Bitcoin forum. Satoshi Nakamoto's idea was to create a cryptocurrency that had a decentralized nature. Traditionally, when you made a payment through your credit card or debit card, there is a central entity that gives a nod for the transaction. Once that transaction is approved, the money is transferred from your account to the account of the person or the organization that you are making a payment to. There is a complete track record of the payment that you have made, and once you have spent a particular amount of money from your online accounts, you cannot spend it again, since the bank or the entity that registers the transaction has a complete record of your payments and your balance. In the case of Bitcoin, there is no central entity. That is why it is known as a decentralized currency. Satoshi Nakamoto developed blockchain to make Bitcoin decentralized. Instead of a central bank or another central entity giving the nod, the network computers around the world race to verify the legitimacy of the Bitcoin transactions happening around the world. They do this by solving or hashing elaborate math puzzles. This means that when someone makes a transaction through Bitcoin, different computers on the network, located around the world, compete to verify the legitimacy of that transaction. Now, when a random computer from any part of the world pulls that off, a verified record of the Bitcoin transaction is minted. A block is created that is linked to all the previous blocks expanding the blockchain. The blockchain gets copied and shared around the network as a reliable decentralized ledger of all Bitcoin movements. This system of registering transactions through blockchain is actually quite a stable system that cannot be tempered by any individual. 
This gives Bitcoin its decentralized nature. It takes away the power from the government or a bank or any other central entity. The fact that no one is able to control or manipulate the transactions happening on the blockchain make it extremely effective, useful, and valuable. Now what happens is that every time a random computer solves math puzzle, registering a transaction, it gets rewarded with a certain amount of Bitcoin. According to recent reports, it was around 6.25 Bitcoins. Now, considering that each Bitcoin is worth tens of thousands of dollars, it is extremely lucrative for individuals and companies to participate in the network in an effort to solve as many transactions as possible. As you would expect, to maximize the chances of earning more Bitcoin by solving more transactions, many individuals and companies around the world have created massive mining farms that consume a lot of electricity. And by a lot, we mean approximately 129 terawatt hours of electricity. Now, just in case you are wondering as to how much is 129 terawatt hours of electricity, well, it is way more than the total consumption of some of the biggest countries in the world. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, having a valuation of around $1.4 trillion, uses only 12.4 terawatt hours of electricity. So Bitcoin does actually use a lot of electricity, which makes it inefficient and not so affordable in the long run. These mining farms not only require electricity to power hundreds and thousands of computers that are basically graphics processing units, but they also require a lot of electricity to provide air conditioning and other infrastructure to keep the computers cool. While the Bitcoin enthusiasts claim that much of the electricity used by Bitcoin mining farms around the world comes from renewable resources, such as hydroelectric and geothermal, the fact remains that many farms, especially those in China, rely on coal for their electricity needs. This makes matters worse for the Bitcoin as a currency, and hence we have Elon and others raising environmental concerns about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Other than the massive energy consumption required to keep the blockchain system running, there is also a constant need for state-of-the-art infrastructure, especially new graphics processing units that are used by the Bitcoin mines around the world. In fact, over the years as the Bitcoin mining has become more profitable, many new players have jumped in, and there has even been a shortage of GPUs around the world. Companies like NVIDIA had to take special measures to make sure that their graphics cards didn't fit the purpose of mining and reach their target market of gamers only. Elon Musk had earlier hinted towards a possibility of Tesla accepting Bitcoin as a means of payment for Tesla vehicles. However, since he has raised concerns over Bitcoin's environmental impact, it is unlikely that Tesla will adopt Bitcoin as a means of payment against its products anytime soon. Other than Tesla refusing to adopt Bitcoin, the fact that the Chinese government has come down hard on cryptocurrency miners and has banned financial institutions from cryptocurrency business has also hampered the near future prospects of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Amongst all this bad news for Bitcoin miners, investors, and cryptocurrency enthusiasts in general, there are still a few silver linings. The first one comes from Elon Musk himself. He has clearly said that despite Bitcoin's massive carbon footprint and alleged use of hydrocarbons for mining, Tesla will continue to hold its $1.5 billion investment into Bitcoin. He has also shown intent to work with the developers of various cryptocurrencies to lower the carbon footprint and to improve the efficiency of cryptocurrencies. On May 14th, he tweeted that he was working with the developers of Dogecoin to improve system transaction efficiency. The other good news comes from the small Central American nation of El Salvador. The country with a population of nearly 6.5 million individuals has become the first country in the world to make Bitcoin a legal tender alongside the US dollar. This means that every business must accept Bitcoin as legal tender for goods or services, unless it is unable to provide the technology needed to do the transaction. Now, will that prove to be the first drop of rain in terms of the mass adoption of Bitcoin as a legal tender around the world? Only time will tell. What do you guys think about Bitcoin's energy consumption problem and the overall situation of cryptocurrencies? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel and to press the bell icon as well.
so that you can continue watching such highly informative videos right here on TechCharge. Thank you for watching.